Hello, it's Aaron here from Last Stand Gamers, and today I'm going to be answering your questions from last week's Q&A. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to say is I'm really grateful for your comments, and it really does mean a lot when you guys say that you're glad you subscribed. I mean, my channel is all about entertainment, and if you guys are happy, it makes me happy because I know I'm doing the right sort of thing. So moving on to the first question, what sort of system specs have I got? Well, I'm going to do a separate video on this, so look forward to that very soon. Um, you can see my pound mouse and pound keyboard in action. I've outplayed many people on this setup. And for a pound mouse and pound keyboard, I can't really argue with that. Moving on to the next question, Wasteland. Do you play it, Aaron, or are you going to play it anytime soon? I really don't see the point of Wasteland, guys. The Wasteland game is basically Armor 2 and Armor 2 OA with vehicles scattered around the map and a stodgy filter on the screen that makes it almost impossible to play. If you are enjoying Wasteland, guys, I really recommend you join an Armor 2 clan. I'm in a clan called Gorillas of Liberation, and basically we're a tactical co-op clan, and it's a really good mix of things. We're, obviously, we're playing against the AI, but the AI can be quite a challenge when they've got the right mods and thingies on them. So I really recommend you join sort of a clan or something and try it out for yourself. Try the experience out. I'm going to link that clan that I'm in as a co-leader in the channel below. Obviously, we're talking about 16, 17 people on a mission. It can be really fun, obviously, when you've got air support and other sort of aspects. Moving on from that question then, the next question was, what do I expect from standalone? What sort of features am I expecting? Well, the first thing I really hope they address is hackers. I stopped playing DayZ for about a month and then came back to it after I had received a massive hack and it just pissed me off so much. It drove me absolutely mad. What the hack did is it basically turned me into an animal and every time I logged into any public server, I respawned as this animal and it was driving me absolutely around the bend so hopefully that's been fixed I logged back in about the last month and it all worked out fine it was all great um, and dandy from there moving on a little bit further into what I expect from standalone standalone should be a really refined game there shouldn't be as many bugs and issues as DayZ if they have and they've used this extra time well there won't be any and that's what I'm really hoping for obviously they've got a new patch coming for them the mod as well so the mod might address a few new features one of the most interesting features that I'm expecting as well from the screenshots is the new character sort of skins and the buildings. Obviously I hope the buildings can be reported back into armour so we can actually use them in sort of realistic military simulation scenarios as well because that would be really useful. But thanks for that. And guys thanks for watching these videos as well, it means a lot. And your last question that you, a lot of you guys asked, I picked all these questions at random and the ones that got the most likes and also got the ones that got sent to me in personal messages. The last question, what my favourite assault rifle is? My favourite assault rifle is the AKM in DayZ. Obviously, when I'm playing Ace and other game modes, I do before the AK-74, but it depends on my preference and what sort of situation I'm in. Obviously, with the AKM, it's going to be a little bit hard to hit some targets at range. And as you can see here, the chopper gunner, we took out the car, we took out his wheel, and we're just taking out the guys now as they're trying to flee across the field. They got a few lucky shots nearly on me there, hitting the side of the helicopter, could have took me down. What did you guys think of this video? You've got to tell me about it, write in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it answered the majority of your questions. Obviously, if you've got any more, stick them in the comments below, and I'll see if I can answer them next time around, or maybe even in the next commentary. So I'll see you then, hope you enjoyed this. That's Aaron out.